The Airbus Bird of Prey initiative was created with the goal of motivating the next generation of highly skilled aeronautical engineers. The aircraft is a bird-like conceptual airliner displaying examples of biomimicry design aimed at improving fuel efficiency and reducing both noise and drag. The group was given the task of designing, manufacturing and flying a UAV featuring components inspired by the Bird of Prey concept. A broad conceptual design phase included research into a bird-like rotating tail, morphing wing technology and flying using thermals to support glide. Ultimately, the group decided to demonstrate the viability of roll control using biomimicry-inspired multi-element winglets by validating their impact on lateral manoeuvrability and lift-to-drag ratio. The aircraft was designed with a modular wing so that the effects of the winglets could be directly compared to a square wing alternative. The team designed and built the aircraft in two stages. The Mark I aircraft was designed for use in wind tunnel testing and the results were used to inform and improve the design of the Mark II. CFD simulations were used to determine the geometry of the three winglets for the Mark I aircraft, with the front winglet designed to function as a tipperon. FEA was used to lightweight all aircraft components and ensure they were of suitable strength and stiffness. Wind tunnel results showed that the winglets achieved comparable lift to drag values to the square wing model in crews and the tipperon proved capable of providing the same roll moment as the traditional aileron. The winglets were found to provide a stabilizing effect during side slip. However, this reduced the aircraft's maneuverability. To counteract this, the group identified the possibility of folding the winglets down during flight in order to increase the maneuverability when desired. The Mark II aircraft included an improved fuselage design. Using a carbon fiber and aluminium construction, with integrated steerable landing gear and a movable bracket for the EDF propulsion system. The winglet geometry was improved in CFD to maximise the lift to drag ratio. This resulted in an increase of 7% over the clean wing. The furling winglets were designed using hinges and a combination of wires and motors to furl up and down. Although the aircraft designs were completed, we were unable to finalise manufacture and test the aircraft in flight due to the ongoing coronavirus outbreak. Future work would involve further prototyping of furling winglets and testing 